Hey, hello, and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Herr Buddha, and I promised every day a new video. That's nearly impossible for me, but I upload as much as I can to help you survive this quarantine period. And let's hope uh, that if we all stay home and do what we have to do, it will, uh, it will be soon be over. The more we stay at home, the more we wash our hands, the more we do what the government asks us to do, the faster it will pass. This is affecting everybody globally. I never experienced something that the entire population of the whole world faced the same uh, problem, had the same enemy. So I upload as much as possible so you have something to watch. Subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell and you can also follow me on Instagram. For now we are going to see a video that is called I bleached my hair twice. Um, and it's damaged and it's broken and it's an epic fail. So let's see this video. So the video that we're going to see is from a channel Imoni Vlogs and Vlogs and such. Imoni Vlogs and such. Hey, welcome back to my and David's channel. Um, as you can see, he is not here, and I am in my bathroom, and you can see the shower curtain, which means it's a beauty video, and I am dyeing my hair and damaging it even more than it already is. If you already follow my channel, you know that I dye my hair frequently. Um, I have split dyed it pink and purple, and I then gave myself bangs and then I then dyed it black. I also dyed it with cool light at one point in time. It actually turned out really well. I got this Ion Bright White. Um, it's supposed to be like a cream lightener. And then I got this 30 volume cream developer, which is supposed to be, which is bleach. So first of all, she had, I don't know how many colors in red and, and blue and, and I don't know, all these pictures coming up. So she has already damaging her hair very much and now she's going to bleach it what is the difference between a powder and a cream base so most of the time we use a cream based bleach for scalp uh, treatments because it's less uh, hurting but also the cream color ble cream bleach that i use in my salon is maximized with 20 volumes because if you use 20 volumes, you can let it stay for a long time uh, on your scalp without burning it. But it's a cream with 30 volumes. I'm, I'm happy she's not using 40. And just one other thing. Is there another store in the US than Sally's? Every video that I watch, it's, I bought this from Sally's. The lady at Sally's sells me that. Uh, it's always Sally's. David, you want to give me one last kiss before I go bald? Because I, I put my hair too bad. So, this is supposed to do eight levels of lifting. And I'm just gonna... Eight levels. If you are black, it's not completely black, but if you are black, you have a tone one. If you want to go to blonde, without the yellow you have to go to 10 that's 10 levels with eight levels you will have an orange yellow tone in one uh, bleach it's not possible to go from black to blonde it's not possible and a bleach always works very good in the first 30 minutes if you're lifting uh, six levels so it's lifting four levels in the first 30 minutes and then two levels in the following 30 minutes so what you have to do is rinse it off after 30 minutes and then apply again the same amount the same bleach to rinse to, to lift again four levels but you cannot do that with two times 30 or 40 volumes otherwise you will not lift just 10 8 or 10 levels you will have no hair anymore to lift stuff which is supposed to help keep my hair healthy that's about enough. Like this. Oh my gosh, this is burning my eyes. This smells like ass. 
I feel like I can't see right now. This is so strong. This is very strong. It's the ammonia. I explained in another video that every ingredient goes inside your blood. I get a reaction of that. That's not, that's not true. Yes, it's true. Uh, you have to be careful. Like ammonia, it's been proven that you can get uh, bladder cancer from coloring. So if you put it here and you get a cancer there, it has to go in your blood. The ingredients, like if you have an allergic reaction on a coloring, it's because it goes inside your head, it goes inside your, your skin, it goes inside your blood. A day cream or a night cream and it cannot go inside your, your, uh, your skin. It's not possible. So every product goes inside your skin. So the ammonia is the most irritating and dangerous product in our profession. You have to be careful with that. It's the ammonia that smells the most. In our salon, we color without ammonia. We color organically, but it's still a chemical reaction. Otherwise, it's just henna. And one thing, henna, the pure henna is with water. If you have powder and water, then it's pure henna. If you are having henna mixed with the cream, it's not pure, it's not natural. You have also a cream developer, so it's not natural. And with henna, you cannot go to blonde, you cannot go to black. It's staying in the same level. That's the pure henna. Yeah, so it's very good that she's coloring her lens first. That is a big plus. You have to put a lot of product. The more product, the better it works. Huh? No, you cut it afterwards. Cut off what's damaged. Doi. Okay, so now that everything's covered, I'm gonna wait 40 minutes to an hour. Holy crap. This is already so blonde. Oh my gosh. It's not gonna be blonde for a super long time unless I have like really it, but I plan on split dyeing it. Okay, so basically it's been 25 minutes, but my hair has lightened literally so much. And I just want, I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but a lot of girls, it takes them forever to get this light, so I'm excited and I'm hoping my hair won't fall out. Um, so yeah, now David is going to wash my hair out in the sink. Oh my gosh, so I'm kind of mad. So basically, I rinsed it out early because it looked like it was getting too light and I didn't want it to damage it. And it actually just ended up turning this brown color. So I don't know what's gonna happen when I try to split dye it next week and I'm kind of mad. It's normal. If the bleach is on your hair, it looks blonder, it looks less yellow or less orange than it is. So many people I see, they rinse it off because they are scared it's too blonde or the yellow is gone and they rinse it off and it's not the color that they wanted. You have to take off the color and look at it like that. Take it out, a little piece, and then look at it. And then you see the real color. And then again, put the color on top. First of all, she said, I'm going to leave it like an hour. I was really scared, like, okay. Uh, 30 volumes and an hour that's really long uh, so after 25 minutes she panicked and she said okay it's really blonde and she rinsed it off but it, she's not going to stay with this blonde uh, she just said and now she's going to reveal it what is the result now Um, it's not light enough to die. I will bleach it again. Again, 30 volumes, she doesn't show it. There are parts that are blonder than other parts. That is because the one string, you put enough bleach and another string less bleach. That is why it's so different in color. You have to apply every string with an equal amount of bleach. Now they are going to pack it, I see. Uh, in foils to put the heat inside to uh, process it faster but you have to be careful with that otherwise 
it can break and it can fall out. If you're not careful and uh, you don't check it regularly, it's too hot. It can be happening that uh, there comes moisture outside. So if you see anything dropping outside your hair, it's because the moisture inside your hair and it's sweating and it's damaging. Then it's a critical point. You have to rinse it out, otherwise you don't have any hair anymore. because it was for one hour 50 minutes or one hour with again 30 volumes it's damaged but if your hair is breaking off don't brush it when it's wet put a big conditioner or a big treatment on your hair uh, wait a few days for brushing it it will restore itself and the bonds will grow back together and it will be a little stronger all she's doing now is breaking off and there's no going back but if I'm being honest, I have so much hair. My hair is so thick that literally half of it could fall out. And I would still have as much as the average person. If I can do a couple treatments, get it in shape again. Uh, I literally feel like I should be freaking out right now, but I'm not. Or is that my way of freaking out? I'm repeating it over and over and over again that I'm not freaking out. Because this feels healthy, like it's so weird. I can't explain. This feels healthy. You have certain levels of damaging your hair. First of all, it feels dry. Then it feels broken. But on a certain point, it feels so soft, like cotton, then it's really over the line of breaking. You see how much hair she's losing, and still she says it's feeling soft. That's because it's past dry, past breaking. When it feels like cotton, it's really, really, really damaged. I don't want to say it looks healthy because I just bleached it twice. But like, doesn't it look healthy? Okay. No. There it is. Bleached my hair two times in a 24 hour time span. It was probably really stupid. Probably shouldn't have done it, but it's too late. If you wanted to see how much hair I lost, there it is. No regrets. And yeah, next Friday I will post me split dyeing my hair and you'll see what colors I choose to do. So I'm going to her uh, channel and I see the next video is also a dye and she split dyed it uh, with pink and blue. These are the shades I'm doing of pink and blue. I like to use punky color. I used it in my last video when I split dyed my hair and I will link that in the description below. Blue and yellow, will it be green? The red will work because it's yellow, but the blue... The reason why I'm doing pink and blue is because I think pink will look good with green and I think this blue might turn out green because my hair is so yellow. So I guess we're going to see if it turns out pink and blue or if it turns out 
pink and green. I don't really care. So basically, I'm just gonna open these up and we're just gonna get right into it first. That way it gives it more time to like saturate. And then I'm also not gonna brush my hair or use a brush to like apply it. I just like to use my hands because I feel like the rest is a waste. Oh, I see this going on green. I can already feel it. Yeah, so basically I Section just, it! My hair, I don't really care if it's super even and I just grab blobs of it and pour it on. Somebody also commented on my last video and they were like, great application. Like, I really just don't care. I feel like all the extra tools and products are just so you will buy stuff and spend more money and I don't appreciate that, so I'm not gonna do that. No! There will be sections in the middle that will not get color enough, so it will be patchy. It will be patchy. It will be not blue. Well, it will be blue greenish. It will be not green at all, but it will be blue greenish and it will be patchy. I'm kind of scared. And it's one thing to have green hair, but to have like spotty, half assed green hair, oh, it's gonna make me worse. I didn't know you see. Uh, I know you see that, but whatever. Get in there. What do you say? It will be patchy. Damn it, I just got blue dye all over my jeans. Now it's time to do the other side, which I'm going to do pink. Yeah, this is dope. This is kind of cool. Probably shouldn't touch the blue one. <laughs> no! But Don't touch the blue one with the red one. Like Superman, or is like Captain America? Uh, no. I am done applying it, and this only takes 15 minutes um, on your hair for it to like, you know, do its thing. But I like to leave it in for like 30-ish to 45. Okay. So basically, I'm kind of happy. Kind of, oh, my hair's like all over the place. I'm kind of happy, kind of sad. So when I was rinsing it out. The blue definitely, I missed so many spots, but it's so patchy and it's more like a sea, like turquoise green color more than blue. The pink never disappoints, never disappoints. Hair update in three, two, one. Here are my dog's footsteps. It's Excuse okay. Me, you're recording it now, you want to give me love? No, shoot. Anyways, okay, so basically this is what my hair turned out looking like. Um, I would curl it or flat iron it for you, but because I bleached it, I don't feel comfortable adding heat to it yet. So basically this is what it looks like. Just, you know, whatever. The pink, of, like I said, it didn't disappoint at all. I didn't think it was going to. It looks exactly like it did last time, just a little bit darker, but I like it. And then this, I missed so many spots. You can see like the pieces of blonde still in there. But honestly, I love it. I think it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. I like when like little spots of blue like get into the side and like they like contrast. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I like it on both sides like this or like this. Okay, that looks ugly. But like, I just like it however. Um, so the crazy colors, the split dye suits her very, very well. You like it or not, that's a different kind of thing. If it's applied good, no. Because the green color or, or the blue color is not blue, it's turquoise color. And it's very, very patchy, like I said before, it was not applied correct. The first year that we go to school is sectioning. Sectioning, sectioning, sectioning. Until you are crazy with the sectioning. But the sectioning is really important. But it suits her. So, for the rest, I'm going to say, well done, it suits you. And she says it was just $20 uh, to color her hair like that. So, it was cheap, it was cheap. You can follow her on uh, YouTube, because when I searched for the second video, I saw a lot of other hair videos. She cut it her hair, she dyed it in different colors, so I think Maybe I will do another reaction video on one of her videos or maybe she pops up in my hair fail compilations. I have to see it. So if you want to see more hair fail reaction videos, hair fail compilation or get any hair tips, follow me 
on uh, YouTube, subscribe to my channel. You can also press that notification bell so you get a notification if I put a new video in these corona times, in these quarantine times. It's very important that you see new things uh, and I will put more videos to entertain you uh, at home. So um, it will be soon over. Think about it, how hard it is. One day this corona crisis will be over. And for now, I'm going to say stay safe, stay home, and chokus!